Nature is stunning, and mountains especially so are glorious natural formations, some of which are hundreds of millions of years old, such as the Appalachian Mountains, said to be an estimated 480 million years old. As such, it is of no surprise that various mysteries are hidden within the vast wilderness of solitary mountains. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mountain mysteries and discoveries. Archaeologist claims Mount Sinai has been found in Saudi Arabia. Biblical experts claim they have finally uncovered the true location of Mount Sinai, one of the holiest theoretical locations in the Bible, supposedly found by the Doubting Thomas Research Foundation. The Old Testament states that Moses led the Israelites through and was given the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. This mythical mountain has been searched for eons, but only now do Christians believe they have hunted it down. Jabal Makla, a mountain that lies within the mountains of Jabal al Laws in Saudi Arabia, is believed to be that very mountain. Brian Morrow, an expert of the Middle East and the Foundation's president, states, One of the main reasons certain scholars claim that the Exodus is a myth is because little to no evidence for what the Bible records have been found on the traditional Mount Sinai in Egypt's Sinai Peninsula. But what if these scholars have actually been looking in the wrong spot? He believes that it makes significantly more sense for the mountain to have been in the Arabian Peninsula than the Egyptian Peninsula. The peak of Jabal Makla has been blackened through the ages from the intensity of the sun or fire, and it is placed close to the Nueva Beach. This is the beach where biblical scientists claim Moses led the Israelites through the sea, parting the waters with the alleged divine intervention of God. Their reason for believing this is due to land paths existing beneath the waves, suggesting that at some point in history, the land was above the water level. Besides just the underwater pathways, a shape resembling a chariot was found in the undersea coral, suggesting that, just as the Bible claims, the Israelites were chased by the Egyptians on their chariots when the parted waters returned, drowning the Egyptians. More asserted evidence comes in the form of water erosion on a split rock between the beach and the would-be Mount Sinai. This is baffling since it is placed in the middle of a desert and implies that there was a strong force of water there at some point in the ancient past. To quote Mauro, We believe this distinct landmark could be the rock that God commanded Moses to strike, which water then gushed forth from miraculously providing for the Israelite population. Close to the site is also a graveyard, one that is believed to be where the golden calf devotees were struck for their idolism of false deities. The site is currently being investigated further, but it is possibly a biblical match that could change everything we know about history. Brown Mountain Lights On North Carolina's Brown Mountain, ghost lights can sometimes be spotted. Reports of these mysterious lights have been referenced since 1910, when electricity was first introduced to the area. George R. Mansfield, a scientist, proved that the lights were trains and car headlights in 1922, and yet some storytellers claim that the lights predate electricity. The story, as many tall tales of the past, changes depending on who is telling it. A man by the name of Joseph Lovin claimed to have seen the first light in 1897, but claimed he did not speak to anyone about the strange occurrence until 1910 when C. E. Gregory outwardly spoke of the lights. It is important to note that in 1909, the Southern Railways started using increased candle power of 600,000. This made their lights brighter than even certain lighthouses. Strangely enough, however, the lights were reported as being red in colour and described by the Charlotte Daily Observer as mysterious lights seen just above the horizon every night. Despite the belief that the lights were caused by trains when the Southern Railways had to cease sending trains around the Brown Mountain area due to flooding, the light sightings continued. The lack of locomotives did not stop the peculiar red lights. According to Joseph Lovin, a true Brown Mountain light was one that appeared to move in brightness and flare. However, once Mansfield proved that the lights were, indeed, man-made, Joseph Lovin ceased any commentary about the Brown Mountain Lights for the rest of his life. 
In 1938, in the Asheville Citizen, there was an article about the lights as a phenomenon from Native American legend, something that was challenged as having been invented by white Americans as a way of proving the supernatural existence of the lights. Another ghost tale, originating from the mystery of the Brown Mountain Lights, include that of a mother and child from the Jonas Ridge community fatally injured in cold blood. This was also the first frightful tale written about the light directly in 1936, but all sorts of Brown Mountain Light ghost stories were born throughout the 20th century, such as the story of the revolutionary soldier from 1982 that was made popular again in 2012 when stories linking the lights to civil conflict spirits spread around the internet. Some believe the lights to be caused by extraterrestrials. Ralph Lale, a self-published UFO author, wrote a book about his alien occurrences on the mountain, including finding mummified remains of an alien. According to Lale, the aliens of Brown Mountain took him to Venus in 1965. In modernity, Ghost hunters are often drawn to the lights that are still visible to this day. There are several roadside locations for the lights, including the Brown Mountain Overlook and the Green Mountain Overlook. Native Americans and Glastonbury Mountain Glastonbury Mountain is infamous for its mysterious nature and odd occurrences and sightings of a strange creature, ambiguous scents and unusual lights being a mere handful of the happenings that transpired on the mountain. Stories of madness and ghostly possessions arise from the mountain with disappearances being not so uncommon for the area. The mountain was first inhabited in 1761. From the start, its settlers reported strange sounds and mysterious lights from the mountaintop. It is claimed that the Native Americans in the area regarded the mountain as the destination in which the four winds met a place to avoid unless it was to bury their recently deceased. Countless struggles awaited the early settlers on the edge of Glastonbury Mountain. Terrible fortune befell the townsfolk that was blamed on some ancient curse. Despite all the bad, the settlers were gifted some luck, as in the early 1800s they experienced a prosperous boom in charcoal production. But by the end of the century, the town was a town no longer. Families once inhabiting it moved to greener pastures, leaving behind but one remaining household. The townsfolk abandoned the mountain entirely deforested and its natural resources all spent. These days, only brick kilns once used for charcoal remain amongst the grand forests, which grew back and now overwhelm the mountain. In 2003, Bennington Banner reported a sighting of a Bigfoot-esque creature seen by a Winooski man. According to the sighting, the creature was going toward the woods by Route 7 of the mountain in the edging darkness of the sunset. Although the nearby police officers assumed it would be a large bear, this was far from the first or last sighting of the monster. There have been reports of a wild man around the area since 1879, when the New York Times wrote an article about two hunters who found a monstrous creature in the forest. The creature was tall, wide-eyed, and had furry red hair, and attacked the two hunters after they shot at it, to which the hunters responded by discarding their weapons and fleeing the scene, frightened by the wild man-like animal they had never before seen in their lives. Around 40 people have disappeared around Glastonbury Mountain through the ages. The most famous missing persons cases stem from 1951 and 1942 respectively and have been dubbed the Bennington Triangle. The very first known vanished victim of the mountain, however, was a man named Henry McDowell. A bad man by some accounts, McDowell was a man who took the life of his co-worker in a fight in 1892 and disappeared before authorities could arrive, never to be seen again. He was last spotted by the mountain. In the 1940s, there was a whole sequence of unsolved disappearances occurring in Glastonbury. The victims of these vanishings ranged from 8 to 74 years of age. Theories vary from supernatural happenings to malicious spirits and demons to Bigfoot and aliens to the more grounded concept of a person who takes the lives of others. In the end, little is truly known about what happened at Glastonbury Mountain in the past few centuries, but what is known is that the once deforested land now thrives with woodlands and is a popular hiking spot. The view from the mountain is breathtakingly stunning, and in recent memory, the claims of strange occurrences have slowly started to decrease. Storytelling is in our blood. 
It's one of the very first arts we as a species developed. It's no wonder then that so many stories are created even today when it comes to urban legends and odd occurrences. But, as with all myths, there is bound to be seedlings of truth in the tall tales of spirits, supernatural mysteries, or fatalities most foul. Whether or not the truth will ever be known to us, though, remains a matter of speculation. Many claims made before our time are difficult to prove or disprove, and one's stance depends on what you personally believe. But what do you make of these mountain mysteries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.